with federal authorities searching homes and hotels where they believe the people involved in the plot may have stayed over the last week. That includes areas in Virginia, also in uh, Maine, and as well as Newark and in uh, Florida. One person that is being seen increasingly as a linchpin in all of this, where a lot of connections are going through, is Mohammed Atta. He was listed on American Flight 11, according to federal law enforcement sources. That was a flight from uh, New York to Los Angeles, he and, and that was the one that uh, went into the first World Trade Center tower. He and another associate, Marwan Al Sherry, attended two different flight schools in Florida. A third man, possibly a cousin of Al Sherry, named Walid Al Sherry, was listed as well on Flight 11, according to official documents. Uh, from New York. Now, this is the first plane that flew into the World Trade Center, as I've said. Now, that cousin also attended a flight school, a different flight school in Florida. Uh, federal law enforcement sources uh, say that they traced their track all the way back to Hamburg. Yesterday, we had several arrests in Hamburg. German authorities say that they know that Mohammed Atta used to live in Hamburg with Marwan Al Sherry and a third individual, and that they were associated with a terror group. One of the people arrested in Hamburg yesterday was an airport worker. Uh, German authorities say they are still looking for others that may have been associated with this group. And again, uh, police are on the lookout, law enforcement authorities, airport workers have been given a list of names to watch out for. Miles? I think, mean, first of all, do I invest